Hi everybody, welcome to uh, Hazard 4, coming from 2013 uh, SHOT Show. Uh, everybody out there in monkey land. Phil Poslick from uh, Hazard 4, main product designer. Going to be just going over a couple of cool new products that we have, something a little bit different. Usually we do all of our packs and shoulder bags and stuff. We've got a couple of new pieces though. So we'll start with this guy here. As you guys know, everybody here in SHOT is into all kinds of hobbies. Uh, primarily shooting, but also guitar and that kind of thing. So we've got a nice guitar case here. But uh, as you would expect from Hazard 4, nothing is sort of what it seems. So this guitar case is actually for everybody's main hobby here, which is shooting. And it is a fully padded rifle case. So it opens up like this. It has a full system here for tying down your gun. Velcro loops to be moved to position for the stock, for the forend. Um, heavily padded, heavily fleeced with a divider. So you can maybe put two guns or attach different holster accessories all over this piece here, magazines, etc. Again, padded on top. And when this guy is closed up, it just looks like a guitar case. So even here at the show, with all the tactical guys around, most people just thought it was a funky guitar case. It's available in black as well. I'll probably be rolling out a more uh, civilian type color to really go under the radar. Um, all the pockets here, they're designed to specifically kind of go with rifles. This pocket here can take magazines for AR, AK, stacked this way, up to six, or cardboard boxes full of ammo, 9mm, 45, 223 stacked this way. Your here in protection fits in here very well, shotgun shells as well. And this section here is just big for, you know, a field jacket as an organizer inside for pens and that kind of thing. And uh, multiple connection points for straps, big padded handle, completely tough tech material here, so if it goes down on the dirt for a shooting position. It's easy to clean. A little bit of molly here for attaching an extra pouch. When that's on, nobody can even tell that it's tactical in any way. And uh, kind of medieval looking bumpers here at the top and at the bottom, which is sort of appropriate because the name of the product is the Battle Axe. So it'll even carry a real guitar, a real electric guitar. These guys will be coming out probably in the next uh, quarter or two. Uh, the design is finished, just going to manufacturing. And it'll be uh, retailing for somewhere in the $199 uh, range. So good price for a good uh, rifle bag. And then we'll transition over here to uh, another apparel item, which is new for us. This is the uh, Poncho Via, and it's our technical poncho. Um, as a lot of guys who are into tactical military things will know, 60s, 70s, Korean era, Vietnam era, the poncho was kind of a mainstay of the uh, Army uniform but they've kind of gone by the wayside. People don't wear them anymore too much and partially because the materials are typically made out of, they're sweaty, they're, it's like a rubbery vinyl, that kind of thing, and they, uh, they aren't terribly breathable, so you tend to get really hot underneath, and the styling on them is a little bit old school. So we wanted to sort of bring back that garment back. It's a very versatile garment in that you can operate your, let's say you've got one of our switchback backpacks and you're operating it, you've got a radio on it, you've got maybe a firearm, you can have a poncho over that. Everything stays dry from the rain, from the snow, but you can get to everything. Your hands stay dry. If you need to get to your long gun though, then the garment can really easily be flipped back, revealing your shoulder, revealing the gun, and it can all go back and kind of keeps things covert. So the format is nice, but what we've done is upgrade the material firstly. So it's a waterproof breathable material and it has some stretch to it. So as you're moving, and you're building up heat, it's going to evaporate off the top, it's going to evaporate off the heat, and uh, you're going to stay clammy, especially when you stop moving and you get cold. This material will keep you dry and at the same time let the moisture evaporate. Now to that end, all the seams on the inside, actually taped, heat taped seams, even up here on the arm patches, we've got Elcro arm patches, Velcro chest pockets, Velcro on the back of the head for glint tape, IDs, that kind of thing. All these guys are, are taped, so no water is getting through. We've had them in the shower, we've had them in heavy weather, nothing makes it through this, this poncho. Now the other thing is the, the styling aspect. We wanted to make this a uh, modern technical garment, so all of this hood section is styled more like a snowboard jacket, styled more like uh, a sailing jacket, and uh, just a lot nicer fit. Fits all the way up under the chin. If you don't want that, you can open it up. Of course, it can be pulled all the way back. And you've got all these center adjustments here to close up this hood here to pull it back from the peripheral vision. Now the neat thing with this jacket too is if the jacket is wet or if it just needs to be stored, it's got to go somewhere. So there's a large pocket here just for putting whatever you 
or whatever gear you have, but that pocket also inverts and the entire poncho ends up in its own container. And there's a little drying hole here. So if it's wet, you can put it in there. This is actually how it retails. It's got all the instructions and all the main points about the product right here. So it goes onto a retailer shelf just like that. So if you're looking for it, that's what you'd get. It's in black and it's available in coyote brown as well. They uh, do the old tricks of the army ponchos that you can hang them up over a bit of paracord between two trees and stake them down into the ground using these grommets that are at the corners and uh, make a little pop tent, a little bit of a shelter. Snipers like them, especially in the coyote color because they can lay it over their shooting position. Adds a little bit of camouflage and of course protection from sand and rain and, and all of that kind of thing. So that's our poncho via poncha and um, Velcro's front and back, really good for running checkpoints, doing sobriety stops for police, that kind of thing, patrol duty. And uh, we're trying to price this one really close to what like a North Face jacket, a mountain a sort of jacket would be at, which is around $120. And uh, those are available actually right now. We just got them in a little bit uh, around Christmas, so we've got good stock on them. People have been waiting for them for a year or so. And we think that'll really sell well to uh, for our officers and anybody else who needs uh, cover like that. And then the last little thing we're gonna show you, I'm gonna pull it around on my switchback pack here. Everyone who does photography, a lot of guys with SLR cameras are always putting their lens cap down somewhere. These guys end up on the floor, they end up put in your pocket and they just disappear. And not only is it a thing that you have to buy that you're losing, your camera's uncovered that whole time because you should be putting it back every time. So here's a new item that uh, we're gonna be distributing, distributing here in the US. And it's a Japanese Kydex holster and uh, made by Hope. It's a new brand out of Japan, handmade. And it's a little holster that holds your, your lens cap. And it's uh, really easy to remove, put it back on the camera. And it's available in black and coyote and high vis orange. And it clips on with a BladeTac brand uh, lock that'll go into a belt, it'll go onto a large molly, and go onto a strap like that. We think that's really gonna be popular with uh, our photographers out there. So that's three cool new innovative products that we're pitching here at uh, SHOT Show 2013. It's gonna be all of these guys, except the guitar case, are gonna be available right now. The guitar case is a little bit later in the, in the year. And uh, you can find all the items at hazard4.com. And that's about it. So our thanks to Millspec Monkey. Always love to see you guys coming by. We'll see you next year. Anytime you want anything, just ring us up and the gear will go out to you. All right, it's Phil Poslick signing off from SHOT Show 2013.